Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's take play some Firewatch. This is a game that I've wanted for so long, but from the help of my friend AwayDG, I was able to get this game. And thank God, because this game, I've seen so many people do videos on this game, and I love this game so much. This is a game from like a few years ago, I think. I don't really know how long it was, but I saw Jeff Sub Guy do videos on it. It might have been Jeff Sub Guy. I'm not quite sure, honestly, who may have saw the videos on it. But, um, yeah, this is one of the my favorite games of all time, and there's a lot of reasons why it is, but I loved watching people play this game, and this game really got me into it like that. So, I hope you enjoy this playthrough. Let's get into this glorious game and play some Firewatch. Let's go! What does that sound? I think I'm supposed to click X. Yeah, I'm supposed to click X. I feel stupid. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. Is that California? I don't know. You Henry are out drinking with your pals. It's really yawning. I'm sleep deprived when I'm making this video, so just try and ignore it. You approach her. Yeah, because I definitely would do that. It's like, I wouldn't do that. I would go walk away and avoid any approaching of anybody. You are drunk. So what are your, you know, so what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. One, this just makes me, th one, this just makes me sound like, uh, I don't know. It makes me sound like I'm complete drunk. And this, it just sounds like you've never seen a pretty girl, so I'm gonna go with that, I guess. You are pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheaper, she says. She flags you down waiter. One week later, you are Julius boyfriend. God damn! Damn! That was fast! One week? Damn, I wish I was in this world where you can where you can date someone within one week. Oh god, the sensitivity sucks. I need to turn the sensitivity off. I don't know where I find sensitivity at, so it looks like I'm just picking this up. I don't like how fast the sensitivity is. Let's see, run button. Wouldn't that fall out of the back? I don't think I have the back thing propped up. You date for, for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Is it great when it drives you nuts, though? You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. Ooh, that's beautiful. You drink beer out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Dang, it sounds like paradise. Julia wants to get a dog. Sweet. But I like cats more. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking a dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You talk to Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Uh... I guess we do whatever she wants. After all, that's what I, that's what I do for everybody. Do whatever they want. <laughs> I just need to play horror games for you all. <laughs> Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you are totally, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You mean a German Shepherd? You talk out on a deck. It's summer, 1993. Here, oh, uh, radiates off the high d desert. I'm going that again. It's like, I'm not gonna because I don't wanna. Do you do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at, at much. I'm not saying, it, I'm saying if you have some, if I, I'm saying if and if I, and I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots, that would be cool. 
In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I like that. You say, these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say, she's absolutely right. Shit, my kids are going to be screwed up. I'm a fucking dumbass. Ah, the torment they'll be put through. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna sort them out of a helicopter when they turn 13 and make them survive in the wild for a week. And yes, I did take that from a TV show. Don't judge me. I think my controller's fucked up again. It's Thursday night, Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call your word and get an angrier by the minute. She walks and she's going to pay. Oh boy, was she drinking? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a. Having a fun time. You fight when she gets between your sheets. Um, you ignore her. This is how it works in a relationship, right? Like, they mess up. You ignore them. Everything's better later on. You don't touch each other all night. Oh. I imagine you touch yourself then. The day you feel guilty. F the next day you feel guilty for being so angry. And ask about her evening. She says it's, it's it was great. You hold onto a tiny pill, pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. What does my guy even do? Julia takes... Julia likes to draw. She draws a plant from her research. She draws all the places she goes. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You flock like a Victor... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you frolic. I want to see what that'll look like. She, Julia was right. You are very pretty. <laughs> I like the tone of the music, very nice. Probably a bad time to say I don't know how to use a compass, so if I had so when I if I do the compass in this actually, uh I'm screwed. During some the summers you and Julia enjoy a walking bucket at night. There are food. Yeah. There are a festival in town and brings folks from fire place. One of them tries to a knife. Okay. B b b b f d d dog. Julia yells. She gets flushed and has trouble speaking when she's when she is stressed. Oh. Are, are are you sure that isn't a sign of some mental thing? You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out for the cops show up. Julia asks to be a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Oh, I thought by that it meant she wanted to break up because I beat the guy's ass. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Uh, what does that mean? I was going to look it up, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. Damn, damn. It's a great, it's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. What is her job? You absolutely do not convince her not to take job. Agree. She commits back and forth. Commutes. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her that. And to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Long distance is fucking terrible. Remember that, kids watching. Long distance sucks. Never do it. I did it. Sucks. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember. She had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Wow. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make them... Um... Yeah, we're not going to forget about that. We're going to see what's wrong. After seeing multiple doctors had had made tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Oh. Well, that's just, well, that's just fucking sad. You both decided to keep secret for now. Whoa! Victoria Secret Mom needs to put his junk away! 
Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's like that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in, in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is home, home on permanent mental cleave. Oh. Wow. Some days you get you, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Others you get a stranger. She pulls you in to make love after five minutes. She goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. Damn. Is that daddy issues? You tell her family that they, they are crushed begin to make they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Austra Australia. Australia Yeah, it's Australia, just not Austria. To visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day, she gets worse. Well, of course she gets worse. There's no cure for dementia. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to to get through it. It's you have like a freaking one percent chance of freaking not dying from that shit or having complete damage. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between two the two weekly visits from the, from Daniel the nurse. Who is this Daniel? Who is this Daniel? He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with. 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Yes. I imagine after wedding, he said, I will stand by you through sickness and through health or some shit. So, yeah. Ooh, that's beautiful. I haven't been in, I haven't been on in the wilderness in a very long time. It's been a very, very long time. About five months to be exact, I'm pretty sure. Can you move faster? Thank you. It's an elk! Let's hunt it down! Let's go Bambi's mother! I mean, father! It is impossibly, it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her like she like she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. Aw, that's cute, I think. She goes to sleep if she stays up a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do, you worry about her getting up and walking your home while you are gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she will, um, you put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You go to the same, to the same bar and born and the, at the born end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the part and everything is a huge weight off your home. Off, you are home and in bed, a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you, you are stopped at, at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a, a, point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it. Would tell your sister in law Susan. Damn. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the stage has and tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue, you say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by, summer's coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Damn. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's a league. Pretty sure if you have like a freaking alcohol test of like one, it's like they literally just arrest you or some shit. I forget some of that shit, honestly. But goddamn. Why's my guy drinking and driving? You take it. And people to murder, I mean. Oh. Enter the lookout tower. I wait. I might have to change the. I might have to change the sprint button to toggle. I don't like that it's. Like, that you have to hold down the button to sprint. That's something I like. And I do not. Like this high of a height. Jesus Christ, I hate heights. Oh. Uh. You didn't see that. I definitely didn't do that. Eh. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Hello? Whoever 
this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So the singular mind. Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. Don't so mind don't mind your mind is alone. Have you considered on uh, on that power of your own mind? Do you often ponder the wow hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. What's this? You Glory. Stab What's wrong with Ooh. A stab? I, Give me a knife now. Sleep forever. Sure, funny. Okay, now go ahead. Then, You've killed three ex-husbands. You're you're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. You killed three ex-husbands. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Oh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now. Not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Oh my God. Isn't that the tree? Isn't that what tree huggers are? People with fetishes for trees or some shit? Isn't that a tree hugger? <laughs> like, I, I feel like that's a tree hugger, right? Like, having a fetish for trees? A typewriter! I always wanted one of those. That's why I slept when I had a futon. Mmm, fine. If you can see me at my desk. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. What does it say? Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what six. Uh. Six forty-five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. Um. Puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Well, I can't see what she looks like, but I can tell my guy is a um. Uh, I can tell he's a very thick man. Never thought I'd say that about a guy ever in my life. Uh, yeah, I see the map in the middle of my. I see it. Yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W. B. Osborne. You use this to spot. You guessed it. Five. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um. You, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language. Okay, get over here then. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Please don't come over here. Are those fucking fireworks? I don't see... Oh! Oh, fireworks, there! That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to so get down we gotta right go now. all the way over there. Alright. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Of course she is. Of course. I kicked the shit out of him. Can I write them a ticket? A ticket? Easy there, dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Is that propane? I swear, do not get anything that's... Do not get anything that's flammable. I swear, if I see you smoking and I go up in flames, Henry... I will kill your wife who has dementia. Secure. Shut up. What is true, it is secure. <laughs> so it's to the west. So if I go there. Um, so I'm aware on the map. Two forks and I gotta go, I don't know where. Ah, here it is. Oh my, did I get stuck between a, yeah, I got stuck between a rock. Wow. Okay, open. One, two, three, four. I never thought I'd say anything, but this is worse than my passcodes. Ooh, yes, copy. I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. 
that's probably Dave Gaskell. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of them bars you like hiking into the park, but let's get, but let's get fucked when I get back, Dave. Now so I ever talk like that or say anything like that in my life. Is that right? Armless, but yeah, one of those you know fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Sounds like me. Anyway, where to now? So I need to get all the way to uh Sun off there's sun off fireworks, but where's the fireworks at? So I guess I gotta go to this lake trail, which I guess I should go this way then is what I'm gonna do. This whole entire place is confusing. I'm still at that medicine wheel, I'm not sure where to go. It's okay. There should be a couple of trails that head north from there. Take the one on the left, the westerly one. Okay, I think I can figure that out. This freaking... I hate how the sprint is with this, with my controller. My controller is broken, so I can't freaking run like that. It's like fucking crappy as hell. So I'm at the medicine wheel. The fuck's a medicine wheel? Okay, so it says go left. So I imagine it means go this way. Then I can't go through there. What? I love nature as much as the next person, but when I can't find this shit, it gets me pissed off. I think I'm there now. Or close, I'm not sure. I think this is it, actually. Yes, I'm close. Yes. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Maybe call it Cripple Gulch. I'd go with Widowmaker. What about shitty boss that's gonna get me killed, Hill? <laughs> what about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Sorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's actually English for not in my job description. Did I actually name it that? Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, Rope! I hate you! Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little way from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. So... This way? There's a campfire. Okay, so despite every setback, this game is actually pretty beautiful. They decided to have a campfire too. To have a campfire too. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good too. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. How about got stomped on fire? Uh, fireworks. fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not. Oh, what do we have here? I found a bra. Why'd you hold it like that? 
Okay. Uh, oh, God, I like this line. To say women's underwear. I don't want to say that word again. Why? Well, she held those a normal way. Fucking bra. I don't know why you hold the bra like that, man. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Ah, fun. I'll be nice here. Oh, I should, huh? I should take it easy now. I should. Fuck you, I was gonna be nice, but fuck you. Fight another fire bitch. Or it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. I wish you would. You can't just harass girls in the woods. It's not harassing unless it's not harassing unless you agree to it. You'll have if you keep letting those frags, you'll have more than a word, but to me har harassing you. I'll begin a machete and cut your heads off and then delivering your heads to your parents and then saying, oh, they got into a bit of a hunting accident. And then I'll reenact a whole entire series of fucking supernatural on you. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them though. Seriously. No problem. Call me a creep, I'm just doing my goddamn job. But to be fair, like seriously, as your stereo in hand and you're gonna start calling him names and shit, like, I would think they'd be a bit smart about it. The guy who has one of your belongings. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Oh, I love this game. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. I will tell you when I'm back there. I'm not betting on the keys being found. Ah, fucking turn your flashlight off, dick. Okay, so right stick is the flashlight. You jump like a ballerina. Oh boy. Uh, I think I'm being stalked. How many rocks am I gonna climb on? No wonder trail is closed. Freaking Jesus Christ. Oh god. You're so lucky it didn't go the other way or you would have been dead. Okay. Screw you, Forrest Burns. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. 
She inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. The what fuck? You know royal butts. Royal? Butts. Someone broke in. The fuck? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Hi, picture of Julia. Jesus fucking Christ. Guess I should probably get my typewriter. saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't feel very safe. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun... Was kind of a bad idea. Oh God! Did they? I'll see what I can do. Grenades are fun. I love explosions. Things go boom. Is that coffee or water? I am up. Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? That's a terrible first day. Sorry, that she meant no that said good first day is all wrong. I mean, I Terrible first day. I tried radioing out and that's not working either. Of course. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two day hike out of here. So that's a no? <sighs> Guess we're going. Me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. Um, so you're go back there, go near the out. The way I the got north north back north. was near the outhouse Thanks, Hank. way. So. It's Henry. What? You don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't. No. Like Makes me think of right. King of the Hill. I think that's, that wasn't a bad show. No, okay. All right. I think this is where we're supposed to be. And I went through that cave and stuff, and yeah. We're here. So I'm guessing we gotta look for anything that was like cut down. This looks like the place because the power utility poles. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Someone's gonna that up that part of it though. Um So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Wait, what is that over there? Is that lying down? Am I supposed to follow that, or that they didn't even more beer? Jesus fucking Christ! Are they gas guzzler? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. 
Yeah, for real. I like we need this shit to like literally survive and communicate. I destroyed their stereo because they're being a fucking asshole to me. Uh, yeah. Okay, the wires down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with It's cut. Hey, so the wire is definitely. That strip was hit by lightning. That looks like somebody got yeah. something very it's, sharp and and said, "Ooh, time to cut this." Like cut deliberately. There is? What do you want to do? Does fire burn out of control? And then what? I, I Scared the shit out of him. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. Legal's my thing. If it's murder, then I'm then I'm game for it. I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make us I can do that. Costume, but they stole my sheets. They stole my sheets? Oh, Damn. Uh, So pretty much terrorize the fuck out of them. So go back towards my tower. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. So go by my so go on the way to my tower pretty much is what I'm getting out of this. Thank you, Henry. Aha oh, my frame rate dropped for a second. Ooh, what's this? Hang in backpack. An pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always go for it for supplies. Ooh, a camera. Well, Hello, I Brian. Flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. I don't think I can go anywhere until you're done talking. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh, there a look. Yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know. Why feel stupid? They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For sure. Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, I swear, uh, yeah. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? 
You think it's them? It's most likely them. They're the only ones out here who would be having a freaking campfire that I know of. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay, so I found the trail. It wasn't really that easy to find, mostly because I'm blind as fuck. But I found it. So hopefully we can find them soon. Um... So what I'm guessing is, I have to duck off somewhere, so it looks to me like I should be able to find a way off somewhere. I'm guessing that maybe where it shows one of these trees, I can just get off along that way, but maybe not. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? That's interesting. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years. Nice. Even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn That's cool and all, but things? nice to almost find enough also, people. Uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. This game gives, gives me kind of, um, Friday 13 vibes a little bit, you know? Uh, some Friday 13 mixed with the, mixed with, you know, Sleepaway Camp kind of a little bit. Nice not Sleepaway Camp. At the same time, but not there. It gives me more Friday 13 though, because, you know, people going missing. Freaking wilderness. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full How do they not have well, alcohol poison in? I have entered the teen zone. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Do I, why are they so dangerous? It's because... I'm gonna guess because teenage girls like dangerousness. I don't fucking know. Teenage Ted girls would know. Through the shredder. Jesus Christ! Like a, Did a like bear, a bear come through here? I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever. And tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite. And all our and all of our stuff? Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Out. This is gross out. Don't you mean it's it's gross? Why did you put the word out? I'm not gonna question it. You 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 are probably a mentally fuck you meant a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. It was worth it. Well, the first time I was called a dick. Yeah. Let me know. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No! I just stole their booze. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay, and I don't blame you. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. We 
weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But bad mushroom no, trip. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. Find boards down there's the patch window. I'll do that later. Back to work. Alright, next video we're going to do more of the story of this game. I'm sorry the video is really long. I didn't plan on making it really long. But I do hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're not writing. And I'll see you next time. And goodbye.